Queen of Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. Hello everyone, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, there's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Vows, commitment, promises, fidelity. Huh. Time, weight, cycles, infinity. So. This is something that you could have been waiting a long time here um, to, to come from your Divine Masculine. It looks like they're in this energy now of being ready for this commitment. Um, you know, there's a little bit about Divine Timing here. Um, but they're in this energy of wanting to um, be committed to you. Um, you know, and kind of drop this like third party relationships. You know, they want to be monogamous to you, um, you know, no infidelity going on basically. Um, right, okay, we'll see what else comes out here. But this couple is also in wedding attire, so that could even be the strength of commitment um, they're hoping to have with you, marriage, even guys. But a leveling up in your commitment for your connection. It does feel like, we'll just put this down a wee bit, smoky boy's god. <laughs> um, I, I just feel from the energy of this time card that this is something that has been going on for quite a long time here between you guys. I mean, I'm feeling like this is more years than months. Um, let's see what else wants to come out from Divine Masculine. This is the untold truth, guys, this deck. So really what they might not be telling you, but this is in their hearts, you know? And that's what these readings do. Oh, something flipped there. That's what these readings do, you know? Um, the messages that come through are really at the truth of the matter, but your divine masculines don't always tell you this. Mm, influences, dark attachments, third parties. Um, you know, this could be uh, addictions and things as well, under the influence of something, uh, but karmic people for sure. But I, I'm, I'm just feeling like it's only a matter of time before those come to an ending here. Because, I mean, they want this commitment with you. They want commitment here. And it's almost like they're biding their time trying to get out of these negative situations so i mean it could be yeah karmic relationship addictions drugs alcohol gambling porn working too much even sex addiction anything like that releasing that you know coming to the end of the cycle that's what i was saying with this fidelity thing here like you know, there was infidelity for some of you with these third party relationships and things. Um, but I'm just feeling that they want to end that cycle and they, they don't want to do that to you anymore. I'm actually getting a message like some of you um, <clears throat> may have got pregnant by your masculine and then they left to go into a karmic relationship as well. I deep regret for that, if that's uh, your story. I feel, yeah, deep regret here. Mm, okay. This is what I was kind of getting about. This This feels like this has been going on for a long time between you guys. Frozen, silence, stillness, no words. So, yeah. Um, for many of you watching, I'm just feeling this stagnant, like no communication, ghosting, that type of thing. Um, almost like uh, your divine masculine is so intimidated by you um, because you, you are such an amazing person. Um, it's, it's like they kind of freeze, you know, like a deer caught in headlights. They kind of freeze around you a lot. Uh, and they don't know what to say sometimes, you know. Because their emotions and feelings um, and love is so overwhelming. But yeah, um, what I was getting from this time card, as I said, was something that's been dragging on for quite a long time. So, <clears throat> you know, you may have had 
uh, no communication from your divine masculine for quite a long time. I I'm talking like minimum like months. Um, yeah, months could be a year even, around about a year. No words spoken here, it feels like. This commitment's wanting to be there though. It's wanting to be established. Which is a sad thing. <clears throat> and you may have been in a commitment and some kind of karmic person, for, for lack of a better term, took them away. Negative influences here, you know. Um, that, that dark attachment freeze, I always get such a bad feeling from that. You know, and it almost feels like spell work being done on your masculine to make them, you know, leave you, act in a way that they would have normally acted in. Just wait, guys, though, because that cycle's coming to an end. Okay, anything else wanting to come out of this deck? Maybe not. For my Divine Feminines watching, what do they need to do? What do they need to know? That might be it for this deck, guys. I wanted to get a couple more, but I'm not going to force it. No. Okay, that's all that wants to be spoken out of that deck. Oh, <laughs> just looking at the bottom of the deck energy, though. Like I was saying, blocking, avoiding, blocking, escaping, pushing away. So, for many of you... That's what your Divine Masculine did to blocking you out, blocking their feelings as well. Trying to trying to suppress their feelings. This person's diving way down. It's like pushing their feelings down. But I'm also feeling like, uh, well, yeah, pushing you away, actually, yeah. I'm also feeling like um, physically 3D blocking, you know, on social media here. They were avoiding their feelings. Bottom line of it. Okay. I'm going to get into some Tarot Illuminati, I think. Yeah, this is a really interesting spread so far. It's almost like they have... They have no words, as in... They almost don't know what to say to mend things here. Because there was quite a lot of disruption, you know, quite a lot of heartbreak. I'm being reminded of that Madonna song, Frozen, as well. If you didn't know, I'm a huge Madonna stan. Let me know in the comments if you're a Madonna fan, too. <laughs> Hope you guys are. But you, there's a line in that song, and it's, you're frozen when your heart's not open. And I'm feeling that with this <clears throat> avoiding card, pushing away. It, it's, they were trying to avoid their feelings so much with you, because... You know, it's, it's, they felt so much for you. It's overwhelming, is the word I just heard. Overwhelming. So some of them may have gone to people who they're less intimidated by. Um, that's the thing with karmic partners. Like, they're there. The universe keeps putting them in the way, you know, keeps kind of bringing them to divine masculine, some feminines too. Um... If, if like, but it's more the Divine Masculines, really, if they're not learning lessons they need to learn, the universe will keep bringing these people in here till they get it, you know. Um, and also, I've, sp I've spoken about this before, but a lot of Masculines will say, like, you're too good for me and things like that. They mean it. They, they think that you are amazing and that they are just crap. Some of them have such low self-worth issues. So they will go to karmic relationships where they you know they don't think that person is too good for them you really need to think about it like that they might have said that you're too good for them but they're not saying that about this karmic person so that just shows you that they don't think as much as of the karmic person as they do you you know if you really break it down like that um they tend just to explain as well i feel guided to explain this today but 
if you're kind of new to the journey as well, if you don't know, um, they, they tend to be quite toxic, the karmic relationships. One, for what I said, like they, they need to learn lessons, the karmic lessons that they keep kind of repeating. But two, because they will go to someone who is quite low vibe, who they see as quite low self-worth that they don't value because the Divine Masculines don't value themselves a lot of the time. So they all find someone that they value even less than themselves because it makes them feel better about themselves. Do you get that, guys? You know, like, it makes them feel worth something sometimes. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm. Okay, well, this is coming up again, addiction issues. But it's also about, it's Capricorn energy as well, by the way. It's also about freeing themselves from some self-imposed bondage. So... For some of them, that is an addiction. And for others, that is a, a karmic relationship. That's what I was saying. Like, this cycle is going to be ending. You know, they're just biding their time to kind of end this, wrapping things up. Freeing themselves from that dark attachment. We also have the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, so, yeah. This is about a Divine Masculine taking time out here. Um, so kind of goes along with this frozen, no communication type things. Um, you know, the, being through a battle, I, I'm just getting two things here. Addictions or karmic relationships or both for some of them. Really needing to rest here. So there has been like this pause in, in your connection because they've been through this battle here but they're taking time to contemplate their life look into what changes they need to make um listening to their inner uh their inner intuition more um yeah really freeing themselves from this uh dark influence here so again this is Probably why you've not been hearing from them, it feels like, at all. They're doing some resting, recuperation. Um, trying to be stronger and in a better place for you and, and to be ready for this commitment with you. I, I just find it interesting in this card that, you know, in some decks the four swords are up here. But in this deck we've got this one word sword here, sorry. And... It reminds me a bit of the, the King of Swords, you know, about to take, you know, they've been on this pause, but about, about, about to take this um, sword into their hand, the Sword of Truth, okay? The Sword of Communication and Clarity. Yeah, I just, I really feel if you've not heard from them for a long time that this is approaching the end, like this silence is going to be broken. Mm, yeah, I just saw the nine of cups on the bottom of the deck there. So a wish fulfillment coming in. So if you've been wishing to hear from your masculine, you know, and some of you are probably really worried about them too. You haven't heard from them. <clears throat> yes. Mm. Again, uh, uh, we've got timing here, <laughs> divine timing, universal timing, whatever you subscribe to, patience, guys. You, some of you have been really patient here, but it's it's going to be worth that patience. You, know, you, haven't, you haven't been patient for nothing, I'm getting. This is about reconciliation for me as well as a reader, because it's the two of cups. Um, yeah, you guys coming back together here. Um, this is also a card of healing as well. So we've had two cards of healing, like back to back. Uh, this group of Divine Masculines has been doing a lot of healing. Um, if, if their issue is an addiction issue to like a substance, 
Um, I, I'm feeling like this could be a rehab issue going on here, this healing, contemplation, meditating, discussion, group discussions, like counselling, something like that going on here, which was very needed, very needed. Um, Sagittarius energy as well here. Yeah. The devil's also about passion as well, guys, by the way. So that passion for you is still there, even though the communication may be like frozen right now. That passion is still there for you. Nine of Pentacles. In fact, so, well, I'm going to say we haven't really had any cups energy. We've got the two of cups here. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Well, we haven't had any pentacles so far until now. Nine of pentacles. Taurus, the Virgo, Capricorn. So give me a second. I'm getting... Hmm. I'm, st I'm still getting that intimidation message from this. So it's almost like... You know, they see themselves as the devil. They see themselves as not worthy of you, you know, and they see you. They, I mean, the Nine of Pentacles, this is an energy of a divine feminine who is extremely high value. This is how they see you. You know, you're in touch with nature. You're abundant, really hard working, probably really successful in your career, um, very confident, self-assured can be single too so they could be seeing you as like um single because they haven't been speaking and, and seeing admirers around you and things like that <sighs> you know it, i've had this message before but it's some of them honestly they see themselves as the devil and like you're an angel you know I just feel, you know, this signifies like prosperity coming in financially or prosperity like with your masculine. Better times. Better times is the bottom line here. Well, oh my God. I don't know if the camera caught that. I've never seen a card leap out so much in my life. What is this card? Oof. The Hierophant. Yeah. Well, the Hierophant. Hierophant? Hierophant. <laughs> oh, God. I've been tripping all over my words today in this reading. I am quite tired, but... <laughs> you know how I was saying with this Frozen card, like, some of them don't have the words. Some of them, you know are so nervous they get nervous around you that's what i was saying intimidated they don't know what to say sometimes I feel like they're a gibbering wreck sometimes like trying to speak to you for many of them that's why they avoid texting and things even um or especially avoid talking to you on the phone because they don't want you to hear how nervous they are and like their voice shaking and, and things like that <laughs> anyway yeah so commitment twice here all right, so it's almost like they're wanting to make this commitment up to you because they didn't give it to you before. Remember I was saying about them listening to their intuition here as well, with the Four of Swords? This is about like spiritual guidance, listening to your intuition. Yeah, uh, maybe even some kind of mentor. So... I was getting this message about rehab. They they could have like a sponsor that they're talking to. I'm I'm getting some kind of father figure that they talk to that's trying to help them sort out their life. And also they you know, they're getting advice about your connection from this father figure type. And I'm just being drawn to this um wolf and this lamb imagery here 
you know, for some of the Divine Masculines, these third party people, it was like a lamb going to the slaughter, you know, it was just, your masculine was too innocent and like too, um, what's the phrase I'm trying to look for? It, um, not gullible, but quite, you know, just almost like blind to how toxic this person was. You know, just didn't see it. Didn't see it. Now they do. <laughs> now they do. Um, yeah. I'm also kind of getting, this is like the divine feminine here. You know, you're so pure and innocent and completely the opposite to <laughs> these, these uh, dark attachments here. Right, loves. I think I'm going to end with We'll get, we'll get some messages, um, twin flame messages here. Divine masculines, what do you want to say? Okay, I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now. Please know this. They're kind of taking this time out. They know they've been really irresponsible in the past and it's like they're trying to um get their life back on track so yeah for some of them that really is like um removing toxic people from their lives or removing toxic substances from their life so they're, they're trying to get their life back on track they're trying to be a responsible person now because they, they weren't in the past and they weren't responsible with your heart in the past either i'm being told to tell you but they want to be now and if your masculine is dealing with um addiction issues i'm sure you guys know like that can really you know it really affects them as a person and they'll do things that they they wouldn't do if they were you know if they didn't have those um substances affecting their mind you know it makes them do things that they wouldn't normally do mm. okay so we've got i'm still haunted by my actions i f i feel that has been the reason the main reason for this kind of silence still between you. Um, they're so haunted by it, they don't know what to say here. <laughs> they don't know how to put it into words, how sorry they are. I mean, it, it's like every time they go to try and speak to you, they, they freeze up, you know, they want to. They know how much damage they've done. And it really um, tears them up inside the way that they've behaved towards you, the actions they have taken. Let's get one more. Something else they're still doing with this Four of Swords energy, contemplating. Contemplating the, the right words to say to you. <clears throat> the right approach to take. Whoa. Okay, let's get one more message. Divine Masculine, what have you been holding back here? It's your time to say it. Hmm. This is so interesting. I think I said to you this earlier, we've had this commitment twice coming in here. They didn't commit to you in the past, but they want to now. Because we've got this, I'm really bad at commitment. They were. But now they want to be responsible and now it's like they're they're ready to have this commitment so i'm just going to end it there guys um but yeah do let me know if this is playing out in your connection let me know what's going on here um yeah i'd, I'd love to know let me know in the comments down below and uh yeah guys if you're still watching don't forget to like comment something to me say hi to me guys